Pros and cons of turbinate reduction with septoplasty. Terminate reduction can ease breathing, result in better sleep, fewer headaches, and clearer sinuses. While turbinates are not seen and don't affect the shape of the nose, some patients who have trouble breathing in a deviated septum may also have enlarged turbinates that can be a contributing factor. In these cases, a septoplasty is performed along with a turbinate reduction. Here's a quick guide. What is a turbinate reduction? A turbinate reduction is surgery performed on the inside of the nose to shrink enlarged turbinates. Turbinates are hot dog shaped structures that are on the inside and they heat and humidify the air. But if they're too large, it blocks the air from getting in. So if you have nasal obstruction and they are large, what we can do is shrink those down so you have more space in there for the air to flow. This is something that we commonly do with a septoplasty. Both of these can be contributing to nasal obstruction. Also, if you have a septal deviation and it's deviated over to one side, the other turbinate will swell to fill that space. And when you straighten the septum, then you'll have obstruction on that side that used to be your good side and now it's your bad side if you don't shrink those down at the same time. The most common way that I reduce turbinates is to physically remove a wedge of the turbinate. So if you think of the hot dog, if you make a little wedge in the bottom, like a pie, and then bring those edges together, it physically makes it smaller. This is what I found to improve the breathing long-term. There's a lot of different ways to do it, to shrink them down, but this way the phys it is physically smaller and it stays that way for a very long time. What is recovery like after a turbinate reduction? The procedure is usually done under general anesthesia, but is an outpatient visit, meaning you can go home on the same day. Rarely we can do this under local, but general anesthesia is more comfortable. Patients typically feel some nasal stuffiness and experience a clear drainage from the nose for about a week. With some that have minimal pain for the first few days, but it's easily controlled with medication, and for many people, Tylenol is plenty. Some patients will also experience some fatigue in the days following surgery, but a lot of that is related to the anesthesia. Each day, the breathing will become easier as the turbinates shrink down and swelling goes down. I typically give you a saline rinse and some ointment to make you feel more comfortable and speed healing. Don't be surprised if you're told that you snore a bit afterwards just because you have some swelling in your nose. But know that this is only temporary until the healing is complete. Does every septoplasty include turbinate reduction? Not every septoplasty includes a turbinate reduction. It depends on whether the patient has enlarged turbinates or not. During your initial consultation, I'll be able to look in your nose and tell you whether it is due to a deviated septum, swollen turbinates, or both. We can then discuss which surgery is best for you. Pros of turbinate reduction. The pros of a turbinate reduction is it improves your breathing and that can lead to better sleep, fewer headaches, clearer sinuses. For some patients, it can be a life changer, allowing them to have more energy during the day without that constant stuffiness and nasal drip that can result from turbinate hypertrophy. The procedure is done on an outpatient basis and patients usually go back to work within a few days. Since there are no external incisions, there are no scars. The only sign that something has been done is that you may have a runny nose for a few days. The cons of a turbinate reduction. The cons of turbinate reduction are few. Very rarely, patients may have empty nose syndrome. This happens when the surgeon does not have as much experience with turbinate reduction. In these cases, the entire or almost the entire turbinate is removed. The turbinate is also useful for feeling and sensing the air that goes through your nose. If you don't have that ability to feel that air, you may have a wide open nasal passage that you can see all the way through, but you can't feel it and so you feel really stuffy. This is a very troublesome problem for the people that have it and it's also very difficult. There's really not that much that improves it. Some people can feel chronic dryness, crusting, and can have nosebleeds. In these cases, you can have some relief with sea salt or saline nose rinses. It can be helpful to avoid caffeine or use humidifiers or mucolytic drugs. But this is why it's so important to see your surgeon who is board certified as an otolaryngologist or a facial plastic surgeon. Can I get a cosmetic rhinoplasty and a septoplasty at the same time? Yes, you can get a cosmetic rhinoplasty and a septoplasty and a turbinate reduction all at the same time. This is probably the most common combination of procedures that I do. In fact, many patients coming in for a septoplasty request a cosmetic rhinoplasty at the same time, while those already coming in for a cosmetic rhinoplasty do not always need a septoplasty. Do I need a septoplasty surgeon near me? If you're in the Houston area and are having trouble breathing, reach out to a facial plastic surgeon to assess your nose. They may tell you that you have a septal deviation, turbinate hypertrophy, or other things that need to be addressed. Have questions? I'd sincerely love to hear from you. Call or email anytime. Thanks for watching.